Tony, what's the winning score this week? Three under. Three under? Farmers have a big advantage? I don't think so. I think as firm as it's played, if I think I don't think it plays near as long as it does in February. I think so I think that how firm it's gonna play, because there's no rain and assuming they don't water it, I think that um, I mean I think the ball's gonna run out. So I, I I don't think it's I don't think that I mean length obviously helps being able to hit it over bunkers and stuff like that. Well, sure but guys I, have a chance. But I think guys that can control their golf ball and chase it out there have a good chance. You know, I think, again, I mean, I think that guys that put good on these greens here, it's going to be a big deal as well. Question for Doc. Question for Doc. Yes. On the mental side, yep. how do you approach your major compared to, like, a farmer's here? Great question. I think sometimes guys think they have to do something different in major. The only thing I tell guys that changes is the stories they tell themselves. Sure, it means more. The courses may play a little bit more difficult, but their objective doesn't change. And keep coming back to that, sticking to their objective, which is to make good swings and keep moving forward is always going to work. It doesn't matter where you're playing. How do you stop yourself from getting frustrated? Because it's obviously hard. Man. You don't. Yeah, you don't stop yourself from getting frustrated. In fact, the more you try and stop being frustrated, it's more that you're getting mad at yourself for getting mad. If you allow yourself to get mad, that goes away. But if you start saying to yourself, I'm not supposed to get mad and get mad, now it's a problem. I, I think one of the big things, too, is understanding here that everybody's going to make bogeys that you're going to make mistakes and accept the fact that you're going to make bogeys. I think guys will get off to bad starts and feel like the tournament's gotten away from them. And I told Zach, like, you, you could get four, five, six over and then hang in there and play even par for another 12, 13 holes and still be, you know, in the mix or, or have a chance. So Because par is a good score and everybody's going to make mistakes. Everybody's going to make bogeys. And I think a real factor is avoiding big numbers and avoiding double bogeys. Those are the things that hurt you. And reacting to a bad hole and letting it compound it into two bad holes or three bad holes. Like the person that's most patient and yeah. accepting of bad breaks and bad shots is going to have an advantage. It also not trying to get something back. It's like you make a double, mm -hmm. oh, i got to go make two birdies. Mm -hmm. Well, if it were that easy, you'd do it all the time. Yeah. What are you doing instead then? Keep playing. It's not simple, but you don't do anything different. And sometimes for golfers, in fact, more times than not, the hardest thing to do is not do anything. What does patience, when, you, when people say you got to be patient, what does that exactly mean? Meaning you've got to trust that what you're doing is correct regardless of the result you're seeing in that moment. That's being patient. Now, over time, you make small tweaks here and there. But to me, confidence is more a product of sort of looking forward and knowing you're doing the right thing versus what you've already done. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yep.